Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, four games on the slate. Lines still not out really for uh, first game. People are sitting. But uh, I got a few player props running late. I'm just getting to them. I got uh, Carrington rebounds over four and a half. It's a little juice, minus 155. FanDuel. Uh, Phoenix is 11th overall. Rebounds allowed. 10th and rebounds allowed to the guard position. Carrington in the last five games has been averaging six rebounds a game. Uh, 55% hit rate for the year. Spread on this game is... Uh, Plus seven and a half for the Sun over under 155. So, uh, depends who sits out and whatnot, but she should be able to grab five boards. Wanted to stay away from the points lines with a few of the players and stuff. They just, you know, they're very up and down. So, I figured this was the best bet. All right, so we got Carrington, four and a half rebounds over. All right, next up, 3 o'clock game, Vegas at Washington. Uh, spread's kind of big, minus 12, over on the 173. It uh, over on the went up a couple points. Uh, I got Jackie Young points over 18 and a half. Uh, hopefully they can keep the game a little closer to like the fourth so she goes over this. Last five games. She's cleared this three out of five. The two times she didn't, she hooked. Um, she's averaging 19 points in these last five games. Shooting 51% from the field, 38% from three, 80% from the foul line. Exceeded 18 and a half points in six of the last seven games on the road, averaging 23, almost 24. Washington is eighth overall in uh, points allowed, and then to the guard position, they're ranked 10th, as well as, um, I mean, for the year, she's got, uh, what is it? 62% hit rate for the year for this. You know, she's one of them uh, main ball scorers, like a uh, Cooper, uh, players like that, Terezi, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, the problem with the Aces, they got several of them. But uh, here's her little shot chart. Uh, players that play like her, that played uh, Washington, 27% point differential. So basically meaning that people in her position that played against this team have gone over their numbers. Uh, her shot chart, 13% under the basket, 34 in the paint, 10% middies, and 43% behind the arc. And, uh, besides under the basket, having that little defense right there seems like she got an advantage. Uh, she's a ball. She, you know, she puts up a decent amount of shots. I think like 14, 15 shots a game. Yeah, averaging like 15 shots a game for the year. As long as they can keep it close until the fourth, she should go over this easily. Jackie Young points eight. All right, next up, I got uh, Clark over. I played it at eight and a half assists, uh, minus 140, I think it was, on DraftKings. Dropped it in the community last night. Uh, it's not available right now. 
just as I figured. Uh, eight and a half, I jumped on it. Nine and a half, I still think it's good. She's been killing it. Uh, they played a lot of games without many uh, days of practice. Took her a while to adjust, but she was still doing decent, six, seven, and eight assists a game. And then uh, they had a couple of days off, like a week off, and she's been killing it since. Uh, game kind of slowed down for her. But uh, nine and a half is still good. Uh, if you want, we've been playing in the past uh, rebounds and assists. Where is it? So they dropped it back down to uh, 15 and a half. She's easily cleared that. Five out of five, these last five games. Uh, the reason why it's it's, it's uh, favored, it's more plus money is because Minnesota's assist allows, they're ranked first. They don't allow a lot of assist. But either way, she's going to get her assist. That last place in rebounds allowed. So this, if you can't get that eight and a half, if you didn't take it last night, this might be the, the safest play. She rebounds like crazy, too. 6, 5, 12, 6, 9. That's just in the last four games. Uh, whereas Vegas, she had 6. They had a good rebound. Well, not really, but they had decent. Liberty, she had 12. So uh, if you're in place last night, use your discretion. Uh, this might be the safest bet. But, uh, yeah. Kaylin Clark, I played at eight and a half. So you gotta subscribe, pay attention to the community. All right, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. Uh, turn the notifications on. So you get my live bets, my plays, uh, bet slips, any any info I have, I put out there. Uh, videos running late, I dropped the bet slip, a little couple of plays last night. You get everything I do. Been doing real well these last couple of days. Just want you to remember that, you know, sports bands up and down. So uh, keep your unit size the same, the amount you're betting, don't change it. Just because you're winning more money, don't bet more money. Shit like that. Uh, you know, let's, let's keep it going though. All right. Appreciate everyone, thank you. Likes and comments, please. They help get the videos out there. Also, I like the feedback, whether I'm doing good or bad. I appreciate it. it. Makes it uh feel worth it. But uh next up we got Leah Borster. Points over 14 and a half, minus 120. Always line shop. As you see, they got it minus 120 on DraftKings, minus 132 on FanDuel. You always want to get the better lines. Better odds. All right, if you're spending more money per play, always uh use alternative lines, alt lines. Buy it back a little bit. Uh, better to, if you haven't noticed, you know, a lot of times the books are pretty close. We're either on by a point or off by a point. But um, four of the last five, she's cleared this. These last five games, she's averaging 18 points a game. Uh, shooting the ball pretty well. 61% from the field. Uh, she don't really shoot threes at all. Less than how do you have less than an attempt a game? But it's how rare she shoots them. And uh, sixty four percent from the uh, foul line. Succeeded fourteen and a half in four of the last five games. Uh, head to head, seventy five percent hit rate for this. Uh, it was all last year. That shit don't count. Uh, Minnesota they do got a decent defense. It's second in points allowed. Gets a little worse to the forward position where she plays and goes to fifth. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give her a shot. Should be able to go over it. 
Hopefully, uh, Clark will find her. Get some of them assists. Get her down low and her score. But uh, let's move on. All right, next up, uh, Bridget Carlton. She uh, three pointers over two and a half plus one sixteen Fanduel. Now. Or was it three out of five? She missed it last game. I've been playing it for a while. We've been cashing her. Um, she had an off game. She was like old for a bunch. <laughs> what does that say down there? She's exceeded two and a half, three pointers, and four of the last five games was the bottom five defense. Uh, she plays a decent amount of minutes. Yeah, she was over for four. She had an off game. It happens. Day before that, game before that, she goes four for four. Uh, I've been cashing her for a while. Uh, Indiana is ninth in three points allowed. To the forward position, gets a little bit worse. This ranks sixth, but Bridget Carlton, and she's playing at home and coming off a bad game. Uh, she's a good shooter. She puts a lot of time into it. You can tell. Good form. Uh, I've cashed it a lot, so I, I'm going to go back to it. Hopefully, we got to bounce back. Going to bounce back like a basketball. But, uh, I think she's shooting like 45%. What does it say? 48%. That's the last five games. Let's see what she's shooting for the year. Get 48% for the year. That's fucking one out of every two. It's probably almost best in the league, if you ask me. But uh, I'm going to give her another chance. She misses today. I'll have to reassess. Let's get it. Bridget Carlton, over two and a half threes, plus one six. Skyward Diggins Smith, six o'clock game, Atlanta versus Seattle. Uh,. Landis plus 14 went up a little bit uh, over on the 154. That went down a little bit. Uh, hoping she still got time to get this. Hoping the game's a little closer than that. Uh, four of the last five, she's cleared this. Uh, seven and a half assists, sorry. Dropped this in the community last night, too. It stayed the same, though. She's, uh, like I said, four out of five. She had 12 assists last game versus Minnesota. 8, 8, 9, 5. She's been doing real well. She don't score that much, but uh, she's a good distributor. Veteran. Uh, she's definitely got, got a high basketball IQ. Uh, Atlanta's seventh in assists allowed to the guard position. It gets worse. They rank ninth. Um. Field goal percentage. Yeah, they're not that great. 43%. They're all pretty close within a couple percentage. It's rank eighth. But, uh, yeah, I think she should go over this. She's exceeded seven and a half, four of the last five, averaging eight at home. Uh, I give it a shot. Scarlett Diggins Smith. Keep up the good work. It's the first time they're playing each other, so no head-to-head. -head. But uh, if she keeps it up, she'll cash it. All right, last up, we got uh, Alicia Gray points over 17 and a half, minus 106. Always line shot, minus 115 on DraftKings. Big difference. You bet every day like I do. Uh, over the year, it can be a difference of lots of money. Uh, Seattle is pretty good at defense, ranked fourth in points allowed. The guard position stays the same, ranked fourth. Uh, Gray's a veteran, she's a, she's a baller. She cleared this four of the last five. Uh, four of the last five. 
Averaging 19 points. It's even with that 11. She plays plenty of minutes. Shooting 48% from the field. About 30 from three. 63 from the from the foul line. Uh, I don't think they played. Yeah, they haven't played this year. Um, she's one of the main scorers. She's a veteran, another one with high basketball IQ. She can shoot the three. She can drive. She makes her own shot. Uh, she'll get around 20 points. A shot chart. People in her position have all gone over this, basically. Um, Shooting 31% under the basket, 11 in the paint, 16 middies, and 36 behind the, behind the arc. So ranked up to the way they play defense in them spots. It all looks good. All signs point to go. Uh, I apologize for rushing through this. Uh, a lot of the lines didn't come out. Then uh, it takes a while to make these videos and to make the thumbnail and all that stuff. It does take a lot of time. Uh, I did drop plays in the community, try to give you a heads up so you can look into them. Uh, if you could, like I said earlier, like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. And uh, let's get that money. It's money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>